Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to welcome you to Tremlow's Stud Farm today to support the work of the Rare Breed Survival Trust, uh, an organisation whose work I have admired and supported for many years. Our rare breeds of livestock are part of our heritage and they contain a genetic diversity which we desperately need to maintain in the face of an uncertain future. The, the minimum we need to save in the gene bank is 25 unrelated animals from each distinct population. With cattle, sheep and goats, this needs to be a split of both semen and embryos. With pigs and equines, at present we can only collect the semen. With poultry, we don't yet have an option which is ethically acceptable for us to store cryogenically. However, I hope the work that the Trust is doing here at Tremlows will mean we can collect and freeze equine embryos in the near future. And uh, I understand there may be opportunities in the future to collect ethically from pigs and poultry. The Trust and its partners have to date made well over 1,000 collections. With your help, in recent years they have collected 50 or more animals each year, which is a splendid achievement. But to do the job properly over the coming years, we need to increase this rate of collection fivefold or even tenfold because there are around 130 livestock populations we need to save, and that doesn't include poultry. Each collection uh, can cost thousands of pounds to organise, to collect and, and to store, and we have thousands of collections to make. So fundraising is an urgent priority, and I hope that everyone involved in food and farming, whether as individuals or in businesses, will think hard about how they can help save the breeds they are passionate about, and make a real commitment to preserving all this genetic diversity before it is lost forever. Ladies and gentlemen, I am most grateful to you for all you have done to support the Trust and its work up to this point. But there is so much more to be done and I do hope you will all continue to help. I, I certainly look forward very much to hearing about the progress of the Gene Bank the heritage it contains will be a vital resource for our children and grandchildren, and it is up to us to ensure it is there for them.